Right, so um, we're going to need some wedges for the stairs. So here's a wedge jig. Here's one I made earlier. Okay, this has a bird's mouth cut in the bottom with a handle. It's minimum 300 mil away from the blade to the handle. The handle's just been rounded off just to make it easier and safer to hold. And it's just a bit of scrap, 18 mil ply. It can be anything really. You need a good solid screw and glue joint underneath. So that's not gonna go anywhere. And you just need the right angle on there. And the idea is, um, as I'll show you in, a, in the next video, that you put a square piece of timber in there and the timber sits into that wedge jig. This parallel line is parallel to the saw. And as you push that through the saw blade, then it automatically cuts on the same slope as the recommended angle. So what's the recommended angle? You'll, you'll, uh, you'll see lots of different versions of this. I always go 10 mil at the narrow end, 20 mil at the wide end, over 150 mil. Okay, if you do those two, measure 10 there, measure 20 there, make sure the 20 is at 150 mil. If that was further on, that would be a lower slope and it'd be wrong. That's your angle, set your bevel to that. Get a square piece of anything, put that angle on your waist. If you put that timber in there, that needs to be square to that angle so it sits properly. And you can see there that if I drew a parallel line to continue that surface, that's where the blade would cut and that would give me a wedge. Okay, and they're all the same slope. So don't get too wrapped up about um, how long your tread is and is it a different angle. If your tread is, I don't know, 200 mil, 150 mil, 90 mil, it's just the same angle. Your wedge will be longer or shorter, but the angle doesn't change. Okay, so we're going to cut them now on the machine and then uh, we can see how to put them into the staircase.